Hello friends, to bypass OTP validation, we try many methods and one of them is removing the OTP value. But how it actually works and what is the cause behind the issue? Where else we can apply the same method? Let's understand that now. I am using a simple Python script to demonstrate this. So consider a login page where we provide our mobile number to receive an OTP. So the Request looks something like this, where we supply our mobile number and that will be submitted to the domain. So let's understand what happens on the server side when we submit our mobile number. I'm just debugging the script and just it is asking for mobile number and let us consider this is the request we submit to the server. I'm just pasting the request. Soon after we submit the request, the application on server side will fetch the mobile number and it will try to generate an OTP. So a random OTP is generated and it will be sent to the user and this is the OTP generated and at the same time it will be saved into the database. Now let's request for a resend. So it is sending one more OTP and it is saved into the database. So the data stored in the database is this. So these are the two OTPs generated and among these two, anyone should go. So let's go to validate OTP. A validate OTP request looks something similar to this. So we will be supplying our mobile number along with an OTP. Let's do the same here. I'm just playing it. I'm giving the mobile number and the OTP. So the OTP that we have entered is invalid, so it is just asking us to enter the OTP again. So let us quickly look for the OTP and let's go with 9546. This was the OTP generated first time. So yes, we are successfully authenticated. And if you look above, this particular file is deleted just because soon after the authentication is successful, our OTP history should be deleted. So that is the same mechanism happening here. Okay, now let's consider a victim mobile number, anyone from this, and try to authenticate with that particular mobile number without knowing the OTP. So these are the previously generated mobile numbers and their OTPs, so which I'm not aware of what is the actual OTP. So I'm just going to the victim and this is the request which is the OTP. Let us give that victim with the OTP and let me run this in debug mode. So it is asking me to enter the OTP and the mobile number. So let's submit the victim's mobile number and a random OTP. So it is verifying and it is returning false so that we are unable to authenticate with a invalid OTP. But we can bypass this just by removing the value. So soon after I hit enter, it is going to verify OTP and at the verify OTP you can see this is the mobile number entered by the user and this is the OTP which is entered by the user which is an empty OTP. So while reading the OTPs from the database it is fetching this particular mobile numbers data and the OTPs and now this generated OTPs contain all the OTPs including the empty value. So this empty value which we have entered one of the empty value that you are seeing here so that returns true and we will be successfully authenticated into the application with a victim's mobile number thank you for tuning in hope you have enjoyed it the mitigation can be found in the other video find the link in the description thank you see you in the next video